Another new feature in 5.5 that might not immediately seem that useful is the ability to render out mailables to the browser. So this is an example of exactly that. What we're going to do is just dive in, create a mailable. If you're not too sure what mailables are, then we're going to output it to the browser. As we can see here, both a markdown and a kind of standard mailable. And then we're going to talk about why this is useful. So let's jump over and do that now. OK, so the first thing we want to do is just generate a mail class. So if we use make mail, we're going to create some kind of welcome message for when a user signs up. And I'll show you how to send these as well if you are very new. So this will create a mail directory and it will create this class inside of here. And this gives us the opportunity to pass any dependencies we need in here and also go ahead and render a view. So let's take a look at a really basic example of this over inside of views in resources. I usually create an emails folder uh, to keep everything in. So let's uh, go ahead and just create a welcome.blade.php file and we will just uh, just write welcome in here. And let's just switch over, of course, the extension on there. OK, so let's come over and switch this over. So this is emails.welcome. Now, typically what we would do, let's just head over to our home controller just to test this out. Uh, we would go and we would say mail to. We would give in a user or a plain email address. So maybe we were sending this to the currently signed in user. We're not actually going to do this. And then we would go ahead and we would send that mailable. So we would say new welcome and we would go ahead, of course, pull the namespace in for that at the top. And that would go ahead and send that email off. So we discussed this in other courses, but as long as you know pretty much what a mailable is now, then uh, that should be enough for us to go through the rest. So let's now, now that we have our mailable, head over to our web routes. And instead, we're going to go ahead and return a new app mail welcome. So all we're doing is we're just returning it. If we head over to the browser, that is literally just outputting that mail. Now, if you want to use markdown structuring, uh, you can do. So we're going to go ahead and delete this mailable just here. We're going to regenerate it, but this time we're going to use the markdown flag and we're going to tell Laravel where to place our markdown. So in this case, we're just going to say emails and then welcome. And what that should do is create this inside of here. So if we just open this up, uh, this will allow us to uh, output a button with a link to a specific URL. It's just a convenient way to build up your messages. So uh, we still have over here rendering this out. Over here, this has generated a mailable, but we're now using the markdown method to generate that. Now that's going to look slightly different. It looks like the following. So we can configure various parts of our app. So we can say something like code course in here. And, you know, it's just the kind of standard stuff. So I would probably go ahead and write in here, welcome to, and then just go ahead and give my app name again. So I'd use config and I would say app name, and then I'd say welcome on board. And I would probably just delete this here. Now, this is all well and good. That email would be sent once you have your mail configuration all set up properly. But what's the point in rendering out mailables to the browser? Well, if you want to test your emails in terms of how they look, not that they're actually sent, then this is a perfect opportunity to combine Laravel Dusk and your mailables. So what you would do in this case is probably have some kind of route in here uh, that's only available uh, within a testing environment, maybe that went ahead and rendered out uh, each of your mailables. You can then go ahead and use your automated browser tests to open that particular route and go ahead and look at the email and see that data. So, uh, you know, the, uh, we're not going to go through a full example, but that is a good way that you can do this. Also, it's really just a nice way to see it while you're building it up, while you're designing it, particularly if it's markdown and you have something like this that's a little bit harder to see what you're doing. So that is pretty much it. You can now just render out mailables to the browser, either useful for just sitting, designing it out, giving it a refresh and testing it, or using automated browser tests with Laravel Dusk, which we have a course on. So once you have caught up on that, you might want to go ahead and test out the design of your mailables.